MyRPG is an advanced online virtual tabletop gaming service. It allows you to play pen and paper style games like D&D online for free. No downloads are necessary, and everything from designing your own adventures to playing in one is done right from your browser. The interactive map works like a game board on which you can place tokens for monsters, player characters, or any other game elements. It is the virtual tabletop for your game. The interactive map features a fog of war that is entirely controlled by the Game Master. It hides portions of the map that should not yet be visible. At the same time, all game elements and their tokens can easily be hidden or revealed by the Game Master. Most game systems on MyRPG have their own character sheet setups. We call them parameters. All settings for characters, monsters, equipment, or effects can be seen here. The Game Master is able to modify parameters as he sees fit. All characters and monsters store their equipment and other items on their person or in their inventory bag. Game controlling elements are also accessed here, like dice rollers or combat actions. New characters get to buy their equipment without the aid of a Game Master. Game Masters can also customize their storefront object to offer different items for sale. Equipment like armor automatically affects character stats, like armor class. Adding armor to a character or modifying the AC bonus of an armor will be reflected in the character's parameters or character sheet. Quickly automate dice rolls with the DC checker. Game masters can also use this function to secretly roll hidden checks against a player. The results of these rolls would not be visible to the player. The Game Messages tab is used to communicate with other party members or the Game Master. There are generally four different types of communication. Out of character chats, speech bubble chats when the character speaks out loud, character or general action narratives, and dice rolls. The Microlite 20 game system contains a customizable encounter roller that allows you to specify a dice roll formula with roll result ranges, which you can then use to very quickly and easily roll a random encounter or any other event. You can even use this as a random loot picker, although no objects are automatically generated from this object. A monster can be configured to have random stats. Every time you create a new monster in the world, it will automatically roll any parameter that contains a dice roll formula. This means you get a unique instance of a monster every time you create one. The battle controller is an object that aids the game master and players in controlling the flow of battle. Starting a new battle will automatically roll initiative on all participants and signal the player or monster who goes first. It also ensures that players cannot act outside their turn. They will be given an error if they try. The battle controller can also add new units, rolling their initiatives appropriately, as well as removing units upon command. Many spells have been fully scripted. As an example, this mage is going to cast Magic Missile on his opponent. After selecting Magic Missile, the Magic Missile effect gets created on his person for maximum flexibility. Due to the nature of Magic Missile, it is possible to target foes arbitrarily, one after the other, depending on how the last missile attack went. To finish off the attack, the mage selects his foes and dispenses his Magic Missiles. In another example, this cleric will attempt a Flame Strike attack on his foes. This spell is simpler in that it does some direct fire damage. He selects his foes, triggers the spell, and all saves and damage is done automatically. In our last example, the mage will attempt to daze the cleric. Selecting his target, he then triggers his daze spell, and again, all saves are done for him. The daze spell was successful, and if the mage attempts an action, he'll be given an error message stating that the daze effect is causing him to lose his actions. The daze effect will automatically remove itself once its duration runs out. Other effects and conditions can cause a wide variety of influence including added AC, skill level, stat level, and so on. If you run into a spell that's not scripted, or you have created a custom spell yourself and you are not sure how to configure it, the spell will be cast unscripted. This mode will still roll a save attempt for all foes selected, but the effects of the spell will be entirely up to the game master to implement. This would include any hit point damage or healing, any new conditions, or anything else that might need to be executed manually by the game master.